back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing another makeup tutorial. This makeup tutorial as I, okay, okay. I know I've been making my intros very long, but let me just say one thing. I had this idea in mind for about a week where I wanted to play off of this dress that I had. I usually, um, I did a look with this last year and I really love the color combo. It's really like fall ish even though we're not in fall but I really wanted to play off of the maroon and then this kind of like yellowy color so I of course pulled out my subculture palette as I mentioned yesterday in this video um, I would be doing a look doing using this palette so I used all star and new wave which is like a little bit more of a mustard color and then a maroon and then I decided I needed something to go over the top so I put glitter and this look is very 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 similar to a look that I did about three or four months ago yeah, about three or four months ago, so excuse that. I'm sorry. Um, it's just that this didn't go all the way out like a wing. It's more of like a half-cut crease, but this look is bomb, you guys. Like, it's bomb enough for me to <laughs> recreate it again when I thought it was an original idea, so oops. But nonetheless, I hope you guys still enjoy this video. It is using different techniques, of course, different products, so of course you can just, you know, relearn how to do a half cut crease with the glitter using these colors but I hope you guys enjoy I love you all if you guys have not subscribed please make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye guys hi you guys so to start this look off I'm going to be using some LA girl pro concealer I decided to switch it up a little bit I'm going to be using this underneath my eyes so that's the only reason I'm using it on my eyes so I am using this to prime my lids and just blending that out with a precision round angled brush from Sigma then I'm just using a translucent setting powder and setting that using the large fluff brush from Sigma as well and then we're going to move on to the eyes and first I'm going to take Sienna this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using a pretty bar brush to apply this into the upper crease this is going to be our transition shade it is a great transition shade it just adds the perfect amount of warmth especially for some of my skin tone and then next I'm going to take the shade unity out of the prism palette it is a bone kind of vanilla e shade and I decided to place that into my brow bone because I usually don't highlight my brow bone but today I did then I blended that out again and then now I'm using the shade dark plum or deep plum I think it's dark plum by Anastasia Beverly Hills as well and I'm just applying this first I pack it out into the outer corner and then whatever's left on the brush I start to work into the inner crease portion so mainly the bulk of your shade wants want to you want it to be out in that outer edge so that way it's really dark and really intense out there and then just blend the rest in the crease and then I decided to take it up just a little notch by using obsidian which is a matte black shadow out of the prism palette as well and I'm choosing a small I forget what this brush is called but I'm packing that black pretty much right over the top of that plum shade and then I take a little bit more of the plum shade in the same Anastasia Beverly Hills little brush and just go over that black just to blend that and buff that out so it's not too dark and not too intense but it's, it's intense enough if you get what I mean. So right here I'm just using a more LA Girl Pro Conceal and a flat E15 flat definer brush from Sigma and I'm just cutting out the half cut crease. You don't have to do this if you don't want to but I like to take my eyeshadow up a little bit higher so that way I have more lid space that's shown. And here I am using New Wave out of the Subculture Palette, and I'm packing that on with a Pretty Bar eyeshadow brush. Just packing that into the one first one half of my eyelid. And then I'm taking All Star on a Morphe brush that we used in yesterday's video. I just cleaned it off a little bit. And I am packing that into the middle half. So we have the blackout in the outer edge. We have the maroon in the middle. And then we have the yellow mustardy color in the inner corner. So this is going to kind of create like a transition effect. So here I am just taking a little bit more of New Wave and just going over the All Star shade. Just to start to blend the two together. And I just take my time by going back and forth with both of those shades. And now I'm using a NYX Crystal Liner. And this is in the shade Crystal Silk I believe. It's like a nice frosty champagne shade and this is going right directly over where I did that cut crease. So this is just going to add a little extra pop, a little extra pizzazz. You can do this on the liner if you want to as opposed to over the top. So it all depends on what you want to do. And then here I am just using my black NYC liquid eyeliner. This is my all-time favorite liquid eyeliner. You guys can find this at your uh, on Amazon because they don't sell them in stores anymore. So I just bought like a three-pack from Amazon for like six bucks, and I'm still using this one. I've been using it for the last month, so it's been doing me justice. So moving on to the face, I'm using my NYX Angel Veil. This is a um, primer. It doesn't really do too much besides just smooth out my face, but it doesn't like keep me matte or anything like that. But I like to use it to smooth out the skin. And then for foundation, I am using my Kat Von D 
Lock It Tattoo Foundation in the shade Deep 74. And every time I use this foundation, I'm like, ooh, I love this foundation. But every time I see the footage, I'm like, ooh, that's kind of, kind of a little warm. But I still love this foundation because it's just so darn full coverage and it just gives me such a flawless application. So after I'm done blending that out, I use more of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in the shade Fawn, and I'm using that to highlight. Today was a kind of a full coverage kind of day. I decided to go in with two really, really, really full coverage um, products. But, of course, you can go in with what you want. And then I'm going to blend that out using the L'Oreal foundation sponge. And now I am setting my under eye with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So, um, as I mentioned in every single video, <laughs> I am just going to place that up the side of the nose, down the bridge of the nose, and then make sure I set the forehead, chin, and and also the Cupid's bow with the powder. And then I'm going to contour while I'm letting the side of, in the bridge of my nose bake. And I'm using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and a Nikki Garrett kind of like a powder brush to get into the cheekbones and the forehead and just slim everything down and give it a little bit more definition, especially since my hair will be pulled back and my forehead will be out. <laughs> so now I'm using a, a NYX blush and this is the shade bronze it's an HD blush I just love this blush and then I'm going in with a Sigma E39 a buff and blend eyeshadow brush and I'm just using this to contour down the side of my nose and then I also go a little bit underneath of the brow and now I'm using a MAC um, fix plus spray that I created it just has a little bit of sparkles in it to set and refresh my face and then for highlighter I'm using the Maybelline master chrome highlight and oh my goodness my highlight was popping you guys i was like oh my gosh it, some people may like it some people may be like it's a little frosty it is a little frosty but when i want my highlighter to be popping i go in with this shade and here i am just using an edge of the beauty sponge just to pounce over the highlighter just to kind of mold it and blend it into the skin um and then i'm going to use a pencil brush to go down the bridge and the tip of my nose to further highlight that and then we are done a <laughs> so moving back up to the eyes I'm using a L'Oreal silk Isimi eyeliner it's just a black eye curl pencil it is the smoothest blackest eyeliner pencil and it's drugstore and then I am going to use the shade deep plum again on a pretty bar this is a um, pencil brush that came out of the brush set and I'm just smudging this on the lower lash line and then I'm gonna take obsidian once again on a e15 flat definer brush this is going right directly underneath of the eyelash. This is, I'm keeping this really, really tight. I want it to be really, 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 really tight to the lash line. And then now I'm just using more of the Master Chrome and going in with an inner corner brush from Sigma and just placing this right into the inner corner, just a tad bit. And then for lips, I am lining my lips with my Clean Color Lip Liner. This is in the shade Brown. I get this at my local beauty supply store. It's like a dollar, but if you can't find it at your beauty supply store, you should check it out on Amazon or on their website and then here I am just trying to decide what kind of lip I wanted to go with so I ended up taking Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills and then I was like oh this is a little too orange for my liking and especially for this video um, I felt like it clashed with the inner portion the mustardy color so I took starfish which of course you guys duh <laughs> starfish has been my go-to liquid lipstick so I ended up taking starfish and placing that right over the top of Ashton and it gave me this lip color and then I took more lip liner and just went over the edges so that pretty much wraps up my video you guys I hope you guys like this new mic I got a new mic for voiceover so I hope you guys like it but anyways that completes it I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye guys I'm gonna do my thing while you're playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't heard this song in a minute.